as I woke up this morning, the Lord spoke the words to me, those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. It was about 5.45 or so, I know, because I woke up and went into the kitchen, and then I laid back down for about an hour. And when I, when I laid back down, um, I had a dream, and I want to share this dream with you. Uh, most of the dreams that I have uh, are not from the Lord, but I know after praying that this one is from the Lord and that He wants me to share it with you today. I would have shared it earlier today, but it's just been a very busy day, and I'm coming on here as soon as I can. Uh, this dream was from early this morning between uh, between about 5.45 in the morning and 6.45. Um, in the dream, there were I was in some type of uh, industrial complex, some type of military building or complex, and there were two brothers. One was an older brother and one was a younger brother. And the younger brother was, it was like he was self-destructing. Um, I don't know exactly what he was doing, but it was like he was self-destructing. He was so distraught. He was so upset. He was like convulsing violently. It was just like he was going through this horrible Thing. And, the, and the other brother was separated from him to the side. And I remember going up to the older brother, and I was calming him and uh, trying to calm him down. And I, and I remember giving, a, giving, a, giving him a hug, embracing him, and letting him know that it, everything, uh, that it was going to be okay. And then shortly after that, right after that, that I remember, um, I was huddled into a room uh, with other men. They were military men, but I don't recall them having their uniforms on. Uh, these men were in a formation, and we were in some type of formation, like rows of rows of people in a formation. And I remember this tall woman popping up with military camouflage, uh, uh, BD, they call them BDUs. They're just a military uh, standard uniform, battle dress uniform. That's what they call it. And this this woman's head pops up, and she has her, uh, uh, her 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 BDU hat on, and I saw a yellow it was a gold golden yellow emblem, a cu cluster leaf, and uh, she had this cluster leaf yellow emblem. And later, when I prayed, the Lord reminded me that that was the emblem of a major, um, a higher ranking officer in the military. A mate that was a major's uh, insignia or emblem on their uniform. But her head popped up and in front of this, the rows of soldiers, and she was looking very, very evil. Just had this very, very mean and evil look on her face, like a controlling, demanding uh, look on her face. And as soon as, I, as soon as I saw her, I heard from behind me, attention, drawing the room to attention. That's what happens when you... Uh, an officer of that high rank comes into the room. Um, whoever sees them first is supposed to say, Attention! And um, that was that word attention was said, and I remember I actually was saying attention. Like I was calling the room to attention too, but I don't think anybody else noticed that I was even there. Um, but as she stood there staring at everyone, look, looking wickedly, and I remember this like a communist type, type of, feeling. Uh, for some reason, the word communist uh, came to my spirit when I was praying over this later. Um, but as I looked over, I saw another group of officers in the room that were not in formation, but they had their uniforms on, and they were huddled together, and they were discussing things over there. And I don't remember anything that they were saying, but they were over there discussing things as this woman held everybody in attention. And I remember they began I don't know who was started to do a roll call, roll call, but I believe it was those officers over there. They started to shout out people's names. I don't remember any names, but I remember them saying my name. So, uh, and I remember as they said my name, there was just like a, a silence or anything, and I and I could have, I thought that I was saying here, but they weren't acknowledging that I even said that I was there, like I wasn't there. But I remember them saying my name. So. Next thing I know, I wake up, and normally when I have dreams, um, I don't have 
such a strong feeling in my in my in my spirit to go and pray, but I immediately prayed this morning and the Lord began to open up my eyes. After praying, the Lord reminded me of the swearing in ceremony that I did before I joined the military. We weren't in uniform, we were in a room somewhat like the room in that dream, in a formation, in our uh, civilian clothes, and there was an officer up front. I don't remember who that person was when I joined the military, and I did my uh, swearing-in ceremony before boot camp. And I wanted to read uh, this oath of enlistment that everyone that joins the armed services uh, has to partake in. It's a federal law that requires all who enlist in the armed forces of the United States to take this enlistment oath. We call it the swearing-in ceremony. And this is how it reads. I, and then you state your name, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice, so help me God. And that's how the Oath of Enlistment reads. And the Lord began to remind me as I prayed of this swearing-in ceremony that I took, and he reminded me of the core values uh, in the military, of the branch that I was in was honesty, integrity, loyalty, and service above self. That means you put the military service before yourself, you put it before your family, you put it before anything else. What your chain of command tells you to do, what the officers and the people over you in the chain of command tell you to do, comes before anything else, anything. Your faith in God, your, 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 your family, or even yourself, that is what's number one. And you are brainwashed in the military to put the military first and to put whatever the chain of command, your officers over you, whatever they tell you to do, you put that first before everything else. And my friends, in that oath of enlistment that you take, when they say, so help me, God, it is not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that they are talking about. It is not the Most High God that they are talking about. It is definitely not the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, that our military is entrusted to. It's not that they are definitely not ran by my God. They are ran by the God of this earth. They are ran by the prince of this world. That's why one of the branches of the militaries are called devil dogs. My friends, if you are joining the military, you need to consider what I am telling you here today. The military is ran by Satan. My friends, the armed forces of the United States of America want to brainwash you into doing what they want you to do. You are not serving God when you are serving them. You are serving the devil. After praying this morning, I went to the bathroom, and my Bible was laying there in the bathroom, and I opened up my Bible, and the Lord took me directly to Matthew 5, and I want to read to you some of the words of Jesus. Beginning in Matthew chapter 5, verse 36, Jesus said, And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Then skipping down to 43. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. My friends, no murderers will inherit the kingdom of heaven, and none that justify the wicked deeds of those who murder will inherit the kingdom of heaven. My friend, we are to love our enemies. Jesus did not call us to join the military of any country's armed forces. Jesus called us to make disciples of men. 
Jesus did not call you to defend a country that hates God. My friends, if you want to serve your neighbor, if you want to help people, get on your knees and cry out to Jesus. You need to be in right standing with Jesus before you can even help anybody else. My friends, who are you serving? Are you serving yourself? Are you serving Jesus? My friends, if you join the armed forces, you are making an agreement with the devil. You are signing your name away on the dotted line, and you are making an agreement with Satan. They claim that they are under God, but they are letting homosexuals in the military. They are over there across the world murdering people. There is so much wickedness in the United States Armed Services because they are not of God. They are of the devil. And my friends, the only thing they want out of you is you to lay down your life and serve them and obey them and be brainwashed into, into giving your life to them and laying down your life for them. And that is the opposite of what Jesus wants you to do. Jesus wants you to lay down your life for him. He wants you to serve him and obey him so you will have eternal life. But my friends, there is no way that you will inherit eternal life if you are a murderer or if you are justifying people and organizations and groups of people that are murderers. My friends, I've had many people in my family in the military. I myself was in the military. I even had an uncle that died in, in the Vietnam War. I am not anti-troops. I am not against any man. I am not against flesh and blood. But my friends, it is a spiritual war that we are fighting in. And before you join the military or support the armed forces, I pray that you will take what I've told you here to Jesus. They are not interested in righteousness. They are not interested in holiness. They are not interested in obedience to the voice of God. What they are interested in is manipulation. What they are interested in is death. What they are interested in is murder and money. And the love of money is the root of all evil. And that is what is driving the United States Armed Forces and that is what is driving the wicked people that are running this world. My friends, do not exchange your soul to be in cahoots with some wicked government. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Serve Him and obey Him and live by His commands. My friends, please take this to Jesus. This life is just a vapor. We are here one second and we could be gone the very next. My friends, let us serve the Lord Jesus Christ with all of our heart. Jesus knows the heart, the intentions, and the motives of every man. I pray that you will take this to Jesus. I love you and may Jesus bless you.